Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time? Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I wanted this summer to be remembered. Next Friday I'll be three years since they told me that they didn't think I'd make it more than three years. And that's it then. We're celebrating that. Hi, I'm Corinna for the Fan Carpet and we are here at the premiere of Kindling at the Curzon Cinema in the heart of London. This is a coming of age drama that is sure to maybe make you shed a few tears. So I am now joined by Henry and William who are content creators. Uh, TikTok I presume? TikTok, Instagram, and all social YouTube. YouTube and stuff as well. Yeah. Across all the platforms. Oh my god, I feel so tiny standing next to you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come down a bit just so I can hear you. So it's like that. And I have heels on as well. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Tall, like six, I can just jump. We're, we're, six, we're six foot three, so we do. We can't talk. Five foot three with heels on. So this is a it's a very very different kind of height. So. Um, for those of us who don't know exactly what content you create, what, what kind of theme do we have in your in your creation? So for Will and I, we both create like lifestyle content in terms of men's fashion, fitness, and a lot of our thing has always been about how can men increase their confidence. Like I think a lot of men today struggle a bit of confidence. So if we can like, we always believe if you can get up, go to the gym, get your get your head in a good mindset, put a nice jacket on, wear your shoulder, uh, walk with your shoulders back. Hopefully that should boost your confidence and things like that. So yeah, if you come to our pages, you'll see a lot of men's fashion and lifestyle and fitness and stuff, so yeah. I love it, it's a really good, um, it's a good sort of niche in the market that you don't really have, because you, you guys are looking very dapper, you know how to dress well. It's kind of a rarity in today's world. Do you think men, as well as having confidence, need a bit of encouragement to actually know that following fashion doesn't you know, take away the masculinity, but actually enhances it as well? Say that one more time so I can... Sorry. Um, it's, um, it's very, very loud. No, because I mean, a lot of men sometimes they don't really bother with fashion or they don't want to dress up because they, I don't know, they're not into it or they think it takes away their masculinity. But actually, for me on the outside, I think it enhances a man's masculinity by dressing well. Com complete opposite. I think if, like, if you dress well, for us, like I said, it's going to build your confidence. And if you, feel, if you look good, you're going to feel good at the same time, right? So I always feel like you dress up, you're going to look good, and you're going to be way more confident as an individual. And that's what we believe in massively. So I also think a lot of women these days actually like a man who has a little bit of a touch in touch of their feminism, a feminine side. I think it just shows you're comfortable with your sexuality. And like, if, you, if you're proud to say, yeah, I like to dress well or take care of my skin, like our skincare routine is probably as vigorous as yours or my mother's, I'm not even gonna lie. And I think it's important, I wanna be looking younger the older I get, taking care of myself. But I just think it's the times we live in now that is slowly changing. So yeah, we're super, we're, we're proud to say that we do that and there's no shame in it whatsoever. So, so yeah. What Henry's trying to say is he wears makeup all the time. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, well, I mean, your skin is flawless. So, I mean, I, I'm very much into skincare myself. I think this is a great message I because... My, I can drop my skincare routine down below if you okay. want. Okay, in the comments below. <laughs> Well, no, I think it's a great theme because, you know, like as, as a woman, I think, you know, I appreciate a man who likes to take care of himself. And I think that's that's a good thing, you know. And yeah, a lot of men kind of don't want to go down that down that routine. But also on a more serious note, so this film's obviously a film that's helping men confront their emotions. And you're saying this, you know, your content's about getting men to be more confident, but also open up a little bit more. Do you think it's important for guys like you to come here to support films like this? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's, it's one of those things, right? We live in a... A, a big world and it's a very social and a very talked about world and I think one thing men are a bit scared to do sometimes is talk about their vulnerable side. Look, we all suffer from anxiety, we go through days where we feel a bit low and it's really good to open up and talk about things like that and like it's okay not to be okay. Like I was saying earlier that Henry and I, we raise a lot of money, we, raise, we do a lot of charity events and we raised actually a lot of uh, awareness last year 
uh, for a charity, a, social, uh, a charity called Better, which uh, raises a lot of awareness around uh, suicide prevention and things like that and mental health. And we actually ran seven marathons in seven days last year. Yeah, and we raised a load of money for that. So we're big advocates when it comes to mental health and we love talking about that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's like, it's okay not to be okay and it's good to talk about that. So we love it, yeah. I think the we problem with the world we're in at the moment is people see everything is so glorified on social media, everything's perfect. And I think it's sometimes nice to see like honesty from someone, whether it be for a social media story or a post, and just let them know that actually all our heroes or people we look up to aren't always living the best life. Like all we seem to see is like couples happy and living and laughing, but we don't really know what goes behind like behind the, that beautiful photo. And it's just nice to be a bit like open. And the more open we are, the more vulnerable we can be and the more honest we can be. And I think that's so nice. People buy into vulnerability and honesty. And if you can be honest and vulnerable, and I think people really like that. I think they appreciate it more because we're not all perfect. Even if you're a multi-millionaire, a top influencer, a top creator, we all have those days where we're going to struggle and it's nice to resonate with other people as well. So yeah, that's I think it's quite an important message for us. I, I love that because I think vulnerability is the key to connection. The only way you can connect to people is by having those barriers down. And yeah. I think social media has become a place now which is less about the airbrush bikini shots or like the six pack out of the ocean kind of thing. It's more about actually showcasing the reality of things. But, but thank you so much for chatting to us this thank evening. You thank you. Much. And thank you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I've got my tissues ready. And now it's time to wrap up what was really a fascinating set of discussions here on the red carpet this evening. This is a film to really get people questioning things about their emotions, about men talking about emotions, and of course the things that we don't like to talk about in this country, which is really the awkward conversation about death and moving on from that. Anyway, the sadness aside, we're all here in a very joyful capacity to celebrate what's actually a true story and something of great meaning to many people here this evening. We're about to go and watch the film. Do have my tissues at the ready. But remember, if you would like to find out more about other films, other premieres that we do here at the Fan Carpet, you have to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I've been Corinna Jane. I still am Corinna Jane. And I'm here for the Fan Carpet. Good night. What we're doing now means that I can be there with you. I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca, with the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels. It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews,